So Europeans were poking around this area looking for the Northwest Passage, a seaway that would connect the Pacific and the Atlantic. In 1792, George Vancouver showed up and Puget Sound turned out to be a dead end. It's essentially a cul-de-sac. But they named a lot of the things that they found. So have you ever wondered about the name Puget Sound, where it came from, and how to pronounce it? Before Europeans showed up, the body of water that we call Puget Sound today, the Salish people referred to as Walsh, which basically means salt water. What I have in front of us here is the first map to actually show Puget Sound. George Vancouver sent one of his young officers, Peter Puget, to create detailed maps of the area which had never been mapped before. Vancouver writes something to the fact that in honor of the exertions of Mr. Puget, I name it Puget's Sound with a possessive S. That's what Vancouver put on his map. It's what's on the map here. And that was how it was referred to uh, very early on. So the name Puget Sound has moved around a little bit. If you look at Vancouver's map, you'll see that Puget's Sound refers only to the very southern portion of what we call Puget Sound. But public use extended that name all the way up essentially to Port Townsend. There are questions about whether it's really a sound <laughs> uh, or is it a bay? Or is it an estuary? Or is it some combination of all three? The term sound came into use in particular because British explorers liked the term. It could just as easily be Puget Bay. You go from Puget Sound to Puget Sound, and then something you're hearing a lot these days is people calling it the Puget Sound. One theory that I have is that it's a thing that snuck in from California. In California, they put the in front of the names of their freeways. So like it's not 405, it's the 405. It's kind of a, just a sneaking California-ism. Uh, of course, that's sure to make people hate it. So people, when they see a map, they like to think that names are fixed on that map. But we know that tastes change, politics change, place names evolve over time. If you had to replace Puget Sound, what would you replace it with? Mossback es Estuary. So Mossback's Northwest has been running a while. We'd love to hear from you. And there are a ton of different ways you can get in touch with us. So they can comment on Facebook. They can send an email. Right, right. They can watch us, but they can't comment on broadcast, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Uh, send us a comment. We'd uh, love to read it.